DACA has been helpful, it has been a, a tool, but it's always a band-aid, it's not the real solution, that's not something that was meant to be. For longer than 10 years, we need uh, everyone to take action, we need Congress to take action and to provide a pathway to citizenship because DACA has not been enough. My name is Yvonne. I come from El Paso, Texas. I'm a DACA recipient and I'm also part of the squad. As a DACA recipient, there's a constant threat for me and my family of detention and deportation every day. My dad has cancer, so I worried every day that if my DACA is taken away, like then how can I help support him? How can I help sustain him? And it's stressful to, to have my existence be so dependable on court decisions. I joined the squad in August 2021 when um, my DACA wouldn't arrive and I was let go of my job for a month and I started taking action and when I started meeting other people with uh, that had like the same experiences that me um, that's when I decided I need to continue getting involved I need to continue doing more in an ideal world I wish we could all have the liberation and the economic freedom that citizenship will provide and it's not only beneficial for us but for this country we are a force and we are uh, thriving with so little I can only imagine what we could do with a pathway to citizenship. Knowing that DACA is currently at risk it puts a huge pressure on, on me and my family as a DACA recipient as a part of a family with mixed status it's extremely detrimental to our mental health, like thinking about like what will I do if we don't have DACA and what will we do if um, our existence in this country is constantly threatened by court decisions. The squad is about community. We're a group of undocumented young people and we have a clear vision of our future and what it should look like, so join us.